Hi everyone, and uh, welcome back uh, to this series of uh, solving uh, BAO exam questions, and we are solving from the electrical A1 circuit exam. Now, in this question, we will be solving a Thevenin equivalent uh, circuit, uh, but this time it will be an AC. We did one questions about DC. Now, this is basically an AC question. This appears in May 2017. So the question is asked the same way in the DC. Basically, you are concerned about to find V thevenin and Z thevenin between points A and B. At that we can see it here. This is your point A and B. So what is the equivalent thevenin between these two points? Then what is the value of the load impedance ZL? If we connect it between A and B, we'll get maximum power transfer. And finally, what is this maximum power? So I will solve this question using different uh, way approaches. I will use first the universal approach, which we will find basically V open uh, circuit and I short circuit as I did in the previous question. Now, because this question has only independent sources, there is a shortcut that I will be using it as well to find your Z thevenin. And notice now we don't talk about R thevenin, but Z, an impedance, because this is a combination of a real and imaginary numbers. So we'll start by finding V open circuit. So that is basically your V open circuit. Okay, now how to solve this question? Of course, you can do multiple ways. Uh, you can use nodal, you can use mesh, you can use KCL, KVL. But I think that one of the good techniques in these type of questions is source transformation. Try to reduce the circuit into parallel branches, and then you can easily find V open, open circuit as we will see. So source transformation, when you have a voltage source in series, with a resistance, this is, can be converted to a current source in parallel with the same with the same uh, resistance. So here, we will have our current source, and this current source will be equal to twenty five angle of ten divided by the five. So this is five angle of ten, and then here I will have here in parallel the five ohm. And then I will continue the circuit as it is. I have minus J4, J6, a current source, which is five angle of zero. And then we will have here the two ohm resistance. Then these two basically will be in parallel. The five ohm, is in parallel with the minus J four ohm. So if they are parallel, you multiply them minus J four, and you divide by their summation five plus minus J J four. This will be equal to minus J twenty divided by five minus J four. Now you convert this into polar. If your calculator can do that directly. So this is 20 angle of minus 90 divided by 6.4 angle of minus 38.7 and you will find this is equal to 3.13 angle of minus 51.13 okay so that is the parallel combination i will put this in rectangular format which is 1.96 minus j 2.44 so now all of this now become one impedance with this with this value now i have an impedance in parallel with the current source so basically i can convert it back to a voltage source in series uh, with uh, the same impedance so we'll do that so now this current source times the value of this impedance so this is your i would call z1 Okay, so this is your Z1. So Z1 times this current source, you will have basically a voltage source. And this voltage source is equal to 5 angle of 10 times 3.13 angle of minus 51.13. And this will give me 15.65 angle of minus 
0.13. And then we will have here these two impedances, which is Z1, which is 1.96 minus J2.44. This is in series with this J6. So we have here J6, and then the rest of the circuit stay as it is. Five angle of zero, and then the two ohm. And of course, I want to find the voltage V open circuit bit across this two, two ohm resistance. So now I will add these two as Z, basically your Z2. So your Z2 will equal to 1.96 plus J3.56, okay, or equal to 4.1 angle of 61.2 ohms. So I found now this total impedance. Now this total impedance is basically in series with this voltage source. So I will convert it back to a current source in parallel with the same impedance, okay? So here I will come and I will have this as a current source. Now this current source will be basically 15.65 with this angle minus 41.13 divided by this total impedance. So we will get a current source equal to 3.8 angle of minus 102.3 and this is will be in parallel with 4.1 angle of 61.2 the impedance and now i will have the rest of the circuit which is the five angle of zero and the two ohm resistance so now i have everything in parallel so the current sources i can add them and this with this in parallel so we will have here a current source, which is this plus this 3.8 angle of minus 102.3 plus, now why plus? Because both are in the same direction, five angle of zero. When you add this, you will get a current total equal to 5.59 angle of minus 41.45 amps. And then you will have an impedance, which is, let's say, Z3. This is equal to the 2 ohm in parallel with the 4.1 angle of 61.2. And you will find this is equal to 1.54 angle of 19.3. So we found the impedance. We found the current. So your V open circuit is equal to this current, the total current 5.59 angle of minus 41.45 times this impedance, which is 1.54 angle of 19.3. And this will give me 8.6 angle of minus 22.15. So that is your V open circuit. Now, I need to find I short circuit. So I will come here and I will short this. This is, will be I short circuit. Now when I short circuit this, this resistance disappear because it's a parallel with the short circuit. I will use nodal for this just, as, just to show different approaches. This is V equal to zero. Okay, so all of this will be in one node. So up to here, V is equal to zero. Now, this voltage is 25 angle of 10. Then this voltage, I will call it V. Okay, so apply KCL at V and assume all the currents are basically leaving. So V minus 25 angle of 10 divided by 5 plus V over minus J4 plus V divided by J6 is equal to zero. So we have one, two, three branches, okay? And we have one, two, three items in the, in the equation. Let me multiply everything times J60, the least common denominator. We will have J12, V minus 25 angle of 10, minus 15, this is 
plus minus 15 times V plus plus 10 times V equal to zero. So now we collect terms. So we will have minus 15 plus 10. This is minus five plus J 12. All of this times V equal to 300 and angle of 100. So your V is equal to 300 angle of 100 divided by minus 5 plus J 12. As you can see here, there's a lot of polar rectangular uh, con uh, change. So conversion. So you have to be really very familiar with this. So your V will be is equal, basically equal to 300 over 100. So we, we convert this rectangle into polar, which is 13 angle of 112.6 so this will give me around 23 angle of minus 12.6 volt so this is my v at this node now this is cancelled so my i short circuit this current plus this current will equal to the i short circuit but my i short circuit will equal to V over J6, which is this current that enter this node, plus five angle of zero, which is this current that enter that node. This will lead to the I short circuit. So this is basically KCL. This is equal to 23 angle of minus 12.6. This is your V divided by J6 plus five angle of basically zero. And if you add those after all the conversion you will get 5.59 angle of minus 41.45 so we found i short circuit we found v open circuit so your z thevenin will basically equal to v open circuit divided by i short circuit which is equal to 8.6 angle of minus 22.15 divided by i short circuit 5.59 angle of minus 41.45 and this will give me 1.53 angle of 19.3 or equal to 1.44 plus j.51 this is your r and this is your x so that is your z seven before we proceed for the remaining parts of the question let me find z seven in a direct way now because we have only independent sources we can find z seven directly between these two points after killing the sources how we kill the sources the voltage source will be a short circuit the current source will be an open circuit. So the circuit now I will have here is 5 ohm minus J4, J6, and 2 ohm. And this is your A and B, and this is it. So I can find it directly from this. Very clear. Z seven is equal to this and this in parallel, and this parallel combination is in series with plus J six, and everything is in parallel with the two ohm. Now I did this actually while solving this question when we do the when we did the source transformation we did we did exactly this. Z and we found that this Z is equal to again 1.52 angle of 19.3 so it's the same impedance or 1.53 it's the same one exactly and this is basically equal to 1.44 plus J.51 so that is basically your your impedance that you want to uh, to or uh, this is the Z the question is, what is the load impedance, ZL, that if I connect it here, I will get maximum power transfer, ZL is equal to Z7 
conjugate. What is the conjugate? It's the same impedance, 1.53, but you change the sign of the angle, or you go for the rectangle, you change the sign of the complex part. So this is basically this, or this is your Z thevenant. Finally, the maximum power, P max here. Now the maximum power is only consumed by the real part, so it's basically equal to the magnitude of V thevenant squared divided by four times the value of the resistance, and we know that is the value of the, of the resistance, so this is equal to one over four, the magnitude of the voltage 8.6 squared divided by RL, which is 1.44, and this will give me 12.8 Watt. So that is the maximum power that can be transferred of ZL if ZL is equal to the conjugate of the Thevenin impedance.